All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. So, right away, let's get right into this one. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. And if you see my commercial with Eat Good TV, just go over to Eat Good TV sometime and hit that subscribe button over there. Big up to Miss Margaret because you know food is a very big part of our culture, and Miss Margaret have that on lock. I want me to tell us that she have it on lock. Me tell her before. So I think the best food come from a certain part of Jamaica and Miss Margaret is actually from that part of Jamaica. So and the food we come to talk about today still. We come to talk about popcorn and we come to talk about the fact that I have a message for popcorn. Now, me know how some people think and them I say, yo vlogger boy, nobody know how you're nothing from your man boy, you have a message for man and uh, all these things. That's cool. You know, pride always come before a downfall and people who exalt themselves shall be abased and I truly believe in those things. Nobody is too big or too small to give you some advice in which you can find some sense in it and these things. My granny used to say, talk to anybody, baby. Talk to anybody. All the madman out the road are going to make some kind of sense with some of what he's saying to you, right? So, may I tell Popcorn right now? Mr. Andre Sutherland, leave Jamaica. I'm not telling you to run away and go hide overseas. I'm telling you to leave Jamaica. Your brand is so big right now. People are going to be offended when I say this, but you have outgrown Jamaica, my friend. You have outgrown Jamaica. Yeah? Some people are going to say, what do you mean you outgrown Jamaica? Jamaica built you. Yeah, Jamaica built you, but you've outgrown Jamaica, Popcorn. You know how the place run, and most of we who are from there know how that place run as well. I've been saying it for years, and I'm going to say it again, fresh and new, on the heels of the news that just came about, about Popcorn being detained in the UK, and him put out a little video on IG, and all these things. I said years ago that Popcorn is under heavy scrutiny, and they are after him. Not only Popcorn. Anybody that was closely associated with Vibes Cartel is still under scrutiny to this day. If you think that they believe that Cartel and all of these people became enemies or split up legitimately and don't communicate and has no dealings with each other, then you are behind the curb. I'm not going to use the word slow because some people get offended when I use the word slow. But may I tell you right now, them have a different perception of what is going on. And they believe that everybody who was closely associated to Cartel, why y'all think that people don't really say, Big Up Vibes Cartel, Free Vibes Cartel. You see them leave people alone when them don't say that. The minute them start say that again, them back on you again, right? One person said to me, Soflo, you know that Vibes Cartel owns a certain percentage of um, royalties from each of these artists that were at one point signed to him. And he probably is still collecting money off of their works. So some people are wondering, like, how is he able to be so financially stable even after a decade in prison? And I answered and I said, because Cartel Music sell worldwide. And them say, yeah man, in music sell, but I don't really decide there. I don't really decide there. The extra money I come from each one of the artists them that was ever signed to him and all these things. I don't know if that is true or not. But the person made sense when they said, well, check it. The system is looking at it like this. They thought Cartel would have run out of steam a long time ago financially and not be able to foot the bill to fight for his freedom. Who you know can keep up a fight for a decade that costs a lot of money and it's not like he's using lawyers that have no name. A high profile attorneys alone Vibes Cartel use. Front to back, up to down, right? These things cost a lot of money, not just money. 
So they're looking at it like he's probably still getting money from these people that were closely associated to him. To include Popcorn. Popcorn being the biggest of the stars that came out of the Vibes Cartel camp. Popcorn is huge in other parts of the world. I don't think people in Jamaica who have never traveled outside of Jamaica understand the magnitude of Poppy's stardom. You have to see him outside of Jamaica, rock a big crowd where 20,000 people are assembled in person, 30,000 assembled in person, and then you will understand the magnitude of his stardom when you hear that big crowd carry the lyrics to his songs word for word seeing unlike jamaica where he'll come out and sing a song and few people are gonna reel up because them know the song but you will have a whole lot of people just standing around because them like ah oh, a puppy you know me know him, me see him out of road all the time and these things so the star factor is not that big just like spice and the rest of them you should see spice overseas shaggy you should see shaggy overseas but I'm just saying, on popcorn level now, them after you, they are after you, and they are going to get you. I bet money that popcorn does not have a licensed firearm. The FLA would not grant him that. I don't know a popcorn have criminal record in Jamaica that would prevent him from getting a licensed firearm. Therefore, he would have to what spend money on extra security all the time. And if you're not spending money on extra security all the time, you better hire somebody where you know we have a licensed firearm or something and pay them regularly to be around you regularly. Watching this news that came down where popcorn said this come out of Jamaica. They're saying that the information came from Jamaica saying that he should be held every time him come through the UK. And they went and did their little thing and the JCF allegedly put out something that says it wasn't them. This come from Interpol from some incident happening in Barbados with Poppy get caught with weed there and he was deported from there. And then two years later, 2011 went back to Barbados and got caught with cocaine so now them have him near mix up in a cocaine let me tell you something they cannot crucify a person with a clean image you hear what I just say they cannot crucify somebody that has a clean image so what they do before the crucifixion they do what's called a defamation of character so right now, Papi, I get mixed up in a cocaine. You are going to hear other things called upon him name next. Them tried the other day about how Vibes Cartel order hit upon him and all this. And it was done over a phone and all this. When you see the whole Klansman Wanda and Gang um, trial thing roll out. All the recordings played out. No such thing was found on it. But that is still the work. To divide them even further. Keep them paranoid of each other. Keep them saying them not trust each other. And these things. But may I tell you. Them after popcorn. Uh, worse. Anybody that want book popcorn for a show. In Jamaica knows. That he's going to pull a crowd. And he's a good performer. But when you have your own concert. And you can pack it yourself. You have to go pay me a whole lot of money if you come at your concert. Can me just hold my own instead? Unruly fest. When you watch a pre, you know, watch what I go on. My advice to Popcorn is give Jamaica a break. Go travel the rest of the world, bro. Build your brand even more. Solidify your name even more out there. Make some foreign dollars. Stay out of Jamaica for a minute. That's all may I say. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one and I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace. It's all nice and flaky. Very flaky. When you make your crust, it have to be flaky like this. It all right, my SoFlow TV audience, listen. If you have not found out about this channel yet and subscribe to this channel and started following this channel called eat good tv i suggest that you go do so now 
I did not even know that sweet potatoes can make a punch. I did not know that bummies can make burgers. I have never had pineapple pork before. I'm not even that good of a pork eater. But after seeing this lady, Miss Margaret, over at Eat Good TV, do the pineapple pork, that tell her say, I wanted to try the pineapple pork. Listen, man, she is setting the bar high, all right? And if you're into Jamaican food, I know you might be able to cook it already, but I guarantee you, you're not cooking it like she's cooking it. She is adding a twist to it. So, Miss Margaret, big up yourself over at Eat Good TV and So Flow TV audience. If you're seeing this, please go find Eat Good TV and click that link and tell her I sent you.